Please put your hands together for our opening keynote, Ms. Karen McCullough. You've got to admit, the world is changing, and it's changing fast. A generation that never heard. <laughs> so I believe in evolution. I don't believe in revolution. I don't believe in changing everything today. I believe in small changes. I am speaking on my favorite topic, the generations in the workplace. I opened the conference today and I was really excited. I speak on the generations, but I believe that my topic is more than just understanding the generations. I believe that with technology and with the millennials, which would be the generation born 1980 and after, we have like this marriage of massive change. Everybody gets a trophy. We did that to you. We're sorry about that because this is a generation, listen to me, that has changed the workplace. They are more collaborative. They like to share ideas. They want you to care about their future, so they are going to talk to you about where they see themselves in an organization. They don't want to wait five years to be president or 10 and so on. They want it much sooner. And so we have to begin to listen. This isn't just one or two millennials. This is an entire perception that is coming in and changing everything. There's 80 million of them. We need to attract them. We need to be listening to them. And we need to do things their way because now it's their time. My purpose is to get the audience open to the changes, to appreciate and respect every generation. Every one of us brings um, knowledge and skills and experiences and give each other a chance, but to realize more than ever that the workplace and the culture is changing. You were the last generation who was allowed to stay out and play until the street lights came on, right? The street lights, you could say, and if you came home early, What'd your baby boomer mother do? She kicked you out of that door and she locked it on you. <laughs> Today I was just sitting with a group and he had his door. He go, oh, there are my kids. Okay, I see him. Oh, oh my gosh. They, we're checking on your kids on our phones. It's, it's creeping me out. <laughs> Today, moms sit outside with their little chair and their glass of wine. You can ride your bike from here to the stop sign and back. Oh, look at them. They're so independent. <laughs> You've got to be a sponge. You've got to learn how to absorb, how to listen, how to look, how to see how things get done. You've got to look and figure out how ideas are communicated before you start to make evaluations. And you have to invest in yourself before you expect us to invest in you. And what does that mean? That means learning products, understanding them, doing your homework at night, maybe volunteering to help with a conference, maybe giving a presentation. You've got to begin to step out of what's expected and do some things that are not expected in order to grow. Times were changing, but they were changing socially. We had a commercial. A frying pan came on the scene. This is your brain. An egg cracks. <laughs> Into the frying pan and a voice comes out and says, this is your brain on drugs. Did it work? I don't know. I'm not looking around here. We try to scare you. We baby boomers thought of that anyway. I love you, Gen X. You've got to admit, the world is changing, and it's changing fast. A lot of it is about technology, but you know what? I've been doing this a while, and I think a lot of it is about you, and you, and all of you millennials that are in this room. You are helping make this world a different and a better place, and I thank you for it. <laughs>